All right, what's going on? Uh, we're here with Rebecca Herps. She plays uh, Elizabeth as well as Jonathan Jackson. He plays Lucky. And um, I'm just going to jump to you really quick, and then we'll come back. But what was it like to work with Luke and Laura at such a young age? And obviously you're back now. Yeah. Um, how is it to come full circle? Uh, it, it's amazing. You know, I was 11 years old when I first started working with them, and I had no idea who they were. You know, Luke and Laura didn't mean anything to me because I was, I was born after that, after the, the heyday and everything. But just as people... Um, Anthony Geary and Jeannie Francis were the most amazing people that I could ever have been blessed to work with as a kid. So to come back and work with Tony has been incredible. I'm hoping to work with Jeannie. Hopefully she'll come back because that would be great. But yeah, Wonderful. And you've been on the show for over 10 years now, right? Mm -hmm. And so how has your, um, your character evolved from an artistic standpoint? You know, what, what are you pulling in your work? Obviously you're pregnant now, so maybe <laughs> you use some of that into your work. But how do you feel like you were able to maintain that success? Um, well, you know, the writers have done a really excellent job with Elizabeth and giving her many layers. She came on the show as this um, this naughty little girl who was causing trouble, and then she had that unfortunate um, rape storyline, and that turned her life around. And since then, she's been through one crisis after another and and has experienced many tragedies and, and uh, as well as joys in her life but she's just got a lot going on and she's a very relatable character which again I think the writers have done an awesome job. Wonderful and how have you dealt with some of the emotional strings that were be pulled between Elizabeth and the Nicholas affair? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how you what you put into it but what are some of your inspirations or how how is it on you as a person and or an actor? Well, it's uh, it's a complex process, and I think as actors, it, it it's unique to each person. You know, you draw on your own life experiences, um, your own creative instincts, and um, for me, I just sort of it's acting as sort of a spiritual process of of tapping into all the different emotions that we go through as people, whether it's compassion or fear, or, um, anger or desire, or whatever it is you know, that we go through. Uh, for me, it has to do with my relationship with God and, and coming from that place. Wonderful. Very spiritual and very grounded. That's amazing. And so far, uh, you as a person, what are some of the uh, similarities and the differences that you put into the character of Elizabeth um, from you as a person? What is something that's totally in left field that maybe you don't relate with, but you have to find a way to for Elizabeth? I, Elizabeth is, is very unstable. Mm -hmm. And me personally, I'm a pretty stable person <laughs> I'm yeah. very grounded I have you know I've been married for nine years and have a great husband at home and I just you know all these things that Elizabeth does not portray which I'm grateful for <laughs> the stability and you know yes. not like 10,000 kids running all around <laughs> yes. and um, well, and, and talking about the stability and expressing yourself so you're in a band as well is it uh, E Nation correct and so what, what's the what do you play in the band and how's that going any future gigs coming up or yeah, well, I, I sing and play guitar and um, write most of the music and everything. Um, and it's just, it's it's a blast, you know. I mean, we do sort of Radiohead U2 type anthemic music. We do some Leonard Cohen, Bob Dylan kind of folk music and the whole gamut of, of, uh, of music that we love to listen to. So um, I think we're playing at the, the GH fan event um, this year, and we're also going to play at, at the, on the Sunset Strip. Okay. Um, are you guys on Twitter, or where do they find more information maybe to follow you? Yeah, we're on Twitter also, enationmusic.com, and we just released our first live album called The Future is a Memory, which we're pretty excited about, so people can check that out on iTunes or the website or wherever. Cool, and what was one maybe one of the most sincere things that you've heard from a fan maybe? Have, you get a lot of fan letters, obviously. Are there any things that kind of stick in, stick in your brain that was like so sincere or compelling or maybe off the wall? Um, you, uh, it's hard to say one thing. I have an incredible group of fans out there that have really supported, hi guys, that have really supported Elizabeth from uh, the get-go, even when they don't necessarily agree with what she's doing. Um, you, and, and they show their love by donating money to various charities, and I love when they do that. And what would be a charity that maybe, uh, that, you know, resonates with you? I'm the Smile Train. The Smile Train. I don't know about that. What what is what is that? Um, it's an organization that fixes uh, cleft palates in unfortunate children. Wow, that's amazing. So, for coming from someone, you know, obviously soap operas are very beautiful people. Mm -hmm. So to be able to spread that, but it both inside and outside, that's pretty amazing. Uh, and so, if you could describe the experience of coming back uh, to 
um, to the show. What would how would you describe that in three words or less? Uh, familiar and brand new. Awesome. Well, we thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to a lot more success from both of you. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, that was it down here at Port Charles. We had a wonderful day. We Love Soaps, the cast of General Hospital. We had some amazing interviews, some beautiful women, some really talented gentlemen. So stay tuned and keep on supporting. Take care. Stephen Seidel with We Love Soaps.